Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we do not want the criminal supporters on their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or madden. Moving on to our video. In the words of Comrade um, Ron J, them try to muzzle some and who them can muzzle, them try to bomb. You see now, as we have been saying before, you know, so you see that woman in Angela Brown Burke, you know, she is a daughter of a farmer, most wanted man, you know, Tony Brown from East Kingston. Yeah, Tony Brown is the one of the men who killed Ted Ogively. Ted Ogively was a government permanent secretary for a ministry of construction and then her father killed, killed him and her reward for her father's killing um, Ted Ogively is a seat in parliament so we have people who have criminal parents who are passing law or lawmakers in Jamaica so that goes to show you that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise so you hear for yourself she's the one that says you know that um, this man you know Rowan James is comrade yeah it's just a like comrade Rowan James your man I work with as I said and I state before, the police force is the Jamaica is not the Jamaica Constabulary Force, is the Jamaican PMP force. Move every pot, as I said before, I must have five police I mean no I serve in a police force. Nearly two decades who said that they are labor rights. Those who are labor rights, them them can't them them not talk because the police force from a soup down ward everybody are PMP. All if you want a PMP, if you say them a PMP, if you get promotion. So because I wasn't there promoting the politics, you understand? I was just there working because that's, that's how it is. So here's the evidence, Comrade Rowan James. You are not a cop. You are a PMP LGBTQ plus party activist in uniform. Angela Brownberg spilled the beans. So you are outed. So anytime, I have never seen, as you know, um, since when political parties start getting involved in police administration administrative work that's the pmp is going to wade into it we never see that before two things now we see them wading at them wading at the dpp office and them are wading at the police federation thing oh those things is a problem to the pmp this man the chairman of the police federation in break the rules and him know say him break it you see the former chairman of the police federation, Pacharu, who say yes, the man break it and he must say, I mean, I wonder why it takes so long. Raymond Bulldog Wilson, you know, he said nothing because he a commissioner office. You understand, sir? So. He is a welfare man, so he did not know it was coming. So, those of us who have served in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, we're not talking about somebody who will take the police test seven times and fail. We are talking about those who serve, who wear the uniform, as I have done from a tender age of 18 and one day. We are talking about a person who want to be a police officer, sit the test more seven times and fail, fail to pass the test, cannot spell manner, M-A-N-N-E-R, and write M-A-N-O-R, and it's during their writing right now too. And we have received it. So that show you that you know, it's really everything add up and we have no reason to disbelieve the information that we had received that this person had you know took the police test seven times and failed. 
So that's why I'm having that belly for police. So if you would if you would do the test seven times, you never serve as a police officer, never wear the charges, you don't know anything about police, you know, to enforce law and anything like that. Or for a court or to swear on or for collect statement or for write a statement. Shut up. You have no beef in this. Let we talk how we serve. You understand? So moving on. So those of us who have served in the Jamaica Constabulary so would have known that a majority of its members are known PMP LGBTQ plus supporters and activists in uniform. And the main reason for this is that most of them are thieves. And let me repeat that. Most of these police officers are thieves. I said they were, they were thieves and showed that they had criminal tendencies. Most of these police officers thief and switches the the tires of the government vehicles, then they thief the gas out of the government vehicle and put into their car, then thief the, the gas coupon and take the money for the gas coupon and put in their pocket, thief them in a, you understand? And even recently, a known gazette police officer retired of the police force and the man of the, the government vehicle, three years after he retired. Still a driver government vehicle, still a care get service, and the man of police, you know, he's supposed to hand over a vehicle. It's an audit they were doing and find out, say, this man left with police force three years. Same thing with Ellington, a fight, them have a fight for get back the government vehicle in front of him. You understand? I saw them stay. You know, them, them, them love soda, licky licky, and them thing. They're like, so a teeth criminal, them, you know. You understand? So. You know, when, 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 when one of Jamaica, Jamaica's most wanted men from the 1980s, Tony Brown's daughter, call you Comrade Rowan James, you are not a cop, you are a political activist in uniform. Comrade Rowan James, you are not a police. Comrade no means you are a police, Comrade means you are an activist. You are a political activist, CPMP, LGBTQ plus party. Yeah, so you have a whole heap of these police officers when they retire and left the police force, they have to fight them, forget about the police care. What they need to do now, they need to implement a thing that, hey look, you say if you now return a vehicle, you can't get the piano. Once you, for you to start with a retirement check, yes, make sure the vehicle is locked that the vehicle is returned. Them now want an over a vehicle, they go on, they don't want to drive for them vehicle, you know, all of them things that, where them live, them live off of taxpayers money and, and you understand, I saw them beating and bleed it and cause the budget for you expand. You understand, them, you know, they don't believe in a, for use you the you know for shave and save. They don't believe in that. Them be, all them believe in that for thief, thief, thief. You understand? That's why they don't like accountability. So you, you understand. So this was a gazette position for the other one. And guess what now? So the man retired from the police force and always having gambling problems. Oh, you as a police officer, if you have gambling problem. So after resigning from the after retiring from the police force. He has had the government vehicle for over three years, driving the vehicle and using the gas card to take even money, cash, from the gas attendants. That's wrong on all levels. When you see a political party comes out swinging out for the chairman of the police federation, Corporal Rowan James, who lives in Clarendon, and often receive personal visit from opposition member Peter Bunting and other PMP LGBTQ plus official at his home, you know that this policeman is not a police officer but a political act. So you know say police them are watching because I remember say we, we are living on 95% of the people them are live there. They are police officers and them see him and I'll come back and say, hey, you know, boy well, I say Peter Bunton come look for him. Peter Bunton spent certain hours I'm here and, and we say um um the the the, 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 the guy where threaten the woman in America and that I secretary for Mark Golden. And yeah, you know, so Mark Golden was labor right, you know, and my PMP, you know, I just saw it go. Because it's all about money, you know, scanting the kind of people, them and tell them lie. You understand? So I have never seen a political party calling for the Commissioner of Police to receive a legal dat document that has been served on its member. You know, so Corporal Rowan James, this man is a political act who have done nothing for members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. He represents the rank and file. Major Anthony Anderson. Asked by PMP, LGBTQ plus 
Senator Peter Bunting to reconsider action, which is which is not usual. It's unusual. But it, it never happened before until now. It's Carpal Rowan James, the PMP LGBTQ plus party trump card to create anarchy in Jamaica as the head of the police force, rank and file members. You bet. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we support the Commissioner of Police, Major Anthony Anderson, by interdicting this partisan act, who is not a police officer but a political activist, who is not looking out for its members, but for the PMP LGBTQ plus party. And we see that him have been using that platform to threaten the security of the nation. We don't care about a PMP and a GLP, we care about Jamaica, we are on Team Jamaica. So we believe in what is right and not who's right. So we don't care when a guy wants to say. You cannot say we are labor right till you're, you're, bl you're blue. We don't care about that. We's all about Team Jamaica. It's not who's right. It's what is right. That's what we're all about. So the opposition, PMP, LGBTQ+, says it is deeper concern about the recent interdiction of chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Rowan James. Before we start today's video, I must use this moment to welcome our new Patreon, Patreon members to the group where your identity is paramount to us and you. Thanks for your support. The first 30 people who join the Patreon group will get $50 towards their membership at the end of the lawsuit against those who have smeared my good name. All you have to do is to send me a message that you are a part of the Patreon and claim your $50 towards your membership. It is a promise and for us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, a promise made, promise will be kept. If this is your first time to, on the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Like the video. Yes man, like the video and share the video. And most of all, join the Patreon squad yeah the patreon squad you will see it right there the link in the description box patreon.com forward slash jamaica young police channel let's sign up with the patreon and we get to communicate together as a family so in a release um that's what this thursday yeah you know the pmp lgbtq plus party called the action extreme and said it may contravene james constitutional rights to free speech we call on the Commissioner of Police, Anthony, the Rat said, Major Anthony Anderson, to reconsider this action immediately. The Commissioner can go serve an interdiction notice and then take it back. It can go that, like that. And if you want to do that, that will be because of public pressure. And the Commissioner have within his right. What the Commissioner did is not who is right, is what is right. It is right there. The man breached the laws. The man breached um, the, 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 the regulation of the Jamaica Constabulary Force in 1961. And it's right there. Pacha, Pacha Ro, who is a who is the former chairman of the police federation, said the man had breached the thing, so he must keep himself quiet, you understand? I just saw it go. He was playing around, you know, he not even a tip to him, him a war, like bull buck and up with Kankara. And he was threatening the police force hierarchy and the deputy commissioner them. I must say the big neck guy you know, when he was short, you know, the man they are liar, you know, so the man they know, hey, look. Is if I make all the speech at a funeral, them of people already start research how them can joke him, you know. And that's what happened. You don't want, yeah, hey, look, man. Not because you have certain power, you have to use it wisely. And, and every fool for states and have power because they abuse it. This is the man who will get the, the Minister of National Security, Dr. Chang, after the police, them three years' money. You understand? And this man refused the money, Rowan James, and give, um, Jacqueline Samuel Brown, yeah, that is Bert Samuel's sister, $5 million for care of the government to quote for money that they never owe, owe the police. When the government was giving the police them three years' money and they refused to take it. And this is the man, the same fool fool police they elect. After they care of them down the Supreme Court, make them behave like them are ghetto people. All and they call pan, like cheese pan, and they go on and them have. Um, what we name a um, vovula all the way around here, making noise and at the circuit court, the supreme court, which by the the highest court of the land, police I behave like corrosion. I think care them down during COVID, you know, and you all say all the ball of the man, what we want, we want money. 
and the same man, you know, them hear the man from a recording, see him all James, you know, them hear James on a recording, I said, boy, you know, say, go and never owe no money, and I don't care about what. So because him thought like they, um, you know, I take orders from the PNP, LGBTQ plus people, them. So he thought that's an election, local government election. So I think care the government him go, but him not look out for the police. Me as a pol as a former police officer, police them look out for. You know, care about you and a PNP, LGBTQ plus party or the JLP, LGBTQ plus party. When you hear that they are bat for the colleagues them for have keep and care from them graduate and, and initial posting. Jamaica is a different landscape now than ever. You can't, you understand? Them supposed to know who can have, because you have some police in our slight, you know. You don't give them a gun, because people we take it from them. You understand? You have to give police where you know, say, for you sit, be a of man, demeanor from training school and classroom and drill square and one and two little things. The people, them, when I see them supposed to be able to say, yeah, this man is responsible and them thing there. You understand? When I a young police, before me a 19, I walk with gun. That's how I understand. I have the power where I can defend myself because I have a gun. And that means that the police for the rest I'm supposed to do. You know, sir, this guy and I do it. All him did upon. Yeah. I pay, I pay politics. I, 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 you understand? And him are me Jamaican people who are going to lock down the country with the police force. You know, the union boss, and you're supposed to know that. But hey, you make the full full PMP, you make the, the PMP LGBTQ plus people them can you and use you as a useful idiot. Look up, that's weird. Let's give it a chance. Now wait and see. When they realize eh, the interdiction now go recent because the commissioner of police not going to do it. Because it must be something that he has to think over. Remember say my him boss when report to one them thing you know, and you're a politician as a police officer and them know say Peter Bunting and the likes I visit you and all them things. So them knows why you get your you get your orders from. You know, I take the orders from the members, you take it from the PMP LGBTQ plus hierarchy. What them promise you? Why ain't and them coming up over them all just turn you straight in our deputy so yeah, Bridget. So you are there, it's not what is for the member. You are there what's what's in it for me. No nah, man. You know for dead man, you for stay there. We not support we don't have no pity for you and them thing, our sympathy. Cause what you have been doing is wrong. And we said that long time. From your lie to the police them, but the police them they are ideologues, you know, them just them they come like the Jamal students, them them cannot think. If you hear the man say that everything that he has done with the courting, he know that he was not gonna get any money. And you still vote for him. You know, see you know, on, on, on another sense. Believe you me. All I want to delegate sell them thing. But you know, look at it too, you know, so that's why I wanna do it. I wanna love a thief in thing. Cause if somebody tell me that me I have nothing to do with them. I'm going to vote him because all I thief them, all the all in Matt Bean and all them things. The whole, whole thief in Cocos them and them things they were done there. You understand? So, we we'll continue the journey. It said the PMP, LGBTQ plus party, firmly holds the principle of free speech and the right to every citizen, including public servants, to express their opinion without fear of reprisal. And uh, you can't just get up and willy nilly just chat any kind of thing. The man go a funeral and he only go a funeral a tribute is a tribute. So when you get a tribute, you're supposed to be talking about the dead person. He not go there and talk about the dead policeman. He not go there and talk about politics or, or any of the government that do this and do that. He might go lock down the country and he might check the commissioner of police and he might check the deputy them. Are you alone? Not because don't make the little power you have it get to your head and your face are bigger than them. You swear them though? Them just boop, them just, uh, yeah, you understand, them just, you, them just woof you. And that's happened to you because you're over your head. You have to understand, you know, and you just go there and you, a long time you're doing it, you know, everybody says you have politics, you have play. You understand, even after, them never get the police, the corporal from boys, you don't even lobby that, in time the police, them get killed in the line of duty. Them forget promotion, in time the police is killed. You're not even going to do that. Because this is a commission of policy, you know, I say, man, that's what you're doing. This is about policy, you know. Although there's some, there are a lot of improvement, and we see improvement at the Jamaica, at the police academy to the world. We see all the, the police academy of ESE, we never get for years. You understand? And why we see all the room, them and all them things, you know, the, um, the auditorium. We see all the big improvement and them things, you know, what they're doing. We see all recently, all the road, them are JPA, PF. So, wow, Barbara Green. 
So we continue the journey. So Corporal Ron James, as head of the Jamaica Police Federation, has a right and duty to advocate for the welfare and interests of his fellow police officer. Yes, no, no wrong with that. But him can so him can just go there about him a threaten the commissioner of police and why him got do and this and that. You can't do that. Not because I'm a threat to him physical a physical threat. A threat is a threat, man, and them take them take preemptive strike against you. You understand? So express concerns about upholding a court order should not be grounds for punitive action, but rather to be seen as responsible act in the interest of justice. At no time there was nothing about the court order and you, Peter Bunting, we know say you we know say when you're born lawyer you're spitting a few out. Cause if you what you did to Philip Paul well is not only disgraceful, but it's unbecoming. Rob the man of the leader of the PMP LGBTQ plus party because you want to be Prime Minister. So you tell life on the man. Oh wicked, oh you sleep. Oh you sleep, Peter the Bunting. The old man, man, me, me not me to like wicked people and liar. So compliance with the court orders is fundamental to the rule of law and the public's confidence in the justice system. The Federation efforts to uphold the principle should be acknowledged and supported, not penalized. At no time the Commissioner of Police, the police department are penalizing both not both a court order. You understand? The people them um, when they come on to the overtime, them not get paid. So no need to say uh, all they have to do, he didn't have to threaten them and them thing. He did not have to threaten but he might cause all kind of problem to the police force. So simply say, they need to do something about it. But everything that he has been doing, he's attacking. He's not trying to be a mediator. All they have to attack and I use in position, you understand, as a way of a beat at the, the, the commissioner of police and the system. As him supposed to be, um, him supposed to be the adult and try to bring the thing to the fore. So I'm supposed to have meeting with the commissioner of police and that meeting and then him out talks and nobody now Muslim. Who are Muslim? I don't know. He never talk and say nobody now Muslim and this and that. And I'm supposed to have conversation with the commissioner of police and the deputy them. So look this is what is happening to the rank and file members and them thing and they are disgruntled and them now get them them overtime pay at the end of the month and would I like you to do something about it. Yes, and then the commissioner of police and the deputy men supposed to do something about the people them are the are the, the era officers them and the soap them or inch on a dear thing. So if them can get the thing under control, you transfer them and send them, you understand, transfer the all of the soap them. Cause the soap them in you know, remember it's not the ACP where in charge of the era first and it starts from the soap. So the soap that accountable boop transfer. The ACP um, can't get them for the things, boop, him get transferred. So you just shift them around and make a man say, Look, it, because entire man get transferred and them there at a division, you know, them feel comfortable, you know. You understand? And when you transfer them, you shake them up so they have to start all over. So that is what happened. That's all the man had to do was to meet with the commissioner of police and them do the due the diligence, forget the things. In order, but he not do that. He know out there and blow a horn and them thing and a char fire. You understand? So the party had it that, as the elected representative of the police federations members, it is within James' purview to voice concern and demand the proper enforcement of the court order to benefit police officers. And again. Peter Bunting and the PMP LGBTQ plus party. You think everybody's stupid. At no time the man was talking about enforcing any court order. Anything that he have problem with not supposed to be done in the public sphere. That's supposed to be done in house. The man is not a union boss. The man is a police officer. So any problem talk to the commissioner of police. Yes, the commissioner of the police and the minister. You need permission for the certain things. You can't just get up. Alright, we'll see you right now. You have two police. The all is go upon a certain blogger. And would I like to you know how no justice or how them not get interdicted to and we are gonna touch on it and them thing because a lot of police complain to us, you know, about dopey police and one next police them say it was criminal, him involved in a criminal activity, that's why them transfer him and send him a remand centre. 
And then um, two weeks ago, he might berate a detective inspector. So I don't remember the inspector name. And the police, they must say, boy, I'm a supporter. As a farmer member, you need to address this thing. Because this policeman here, a corrupt policeman. And that's why they transfer him from St. James and send him a remand centre. Boy, hey, that's a one. Boy, that's a round the world still do it. Huh? Yeah, that's that. So, so furthermore, as the older of that office, it said a wide margin of latitude must be afforded him in speaking on matters concerning the welfare of the Federation member. Him not speak for no welfare nobody. Everything that James has been doing is the PMP LGBTQ plus party and we see it. We see it. All the PMP, the PMP want to come in the power so they want to use surrogates to create all kind of disruption. We see back goal in them plan strike. And, okay, and when the PMP in the power, we never see the GLP, LGB, the GLP party do such things. That was before it became a GLP, LGBTQ plus party. We attack all of them time when the PMP in the power nearly 20 years and Siaga was the opposition leader. We never seen the Siaga try to derail PJ Patterson them, um, organize now with no rural cafe, um, demonstrate and shut down the country. We never see them do that. The PMP. Them through them know them can't them them they are not in power. Them do everything for them will burn down Jamaica for rule over ashes. Them not love Jamaica, they bungle love them party and power. You understand? So the introduction of Corporal Rowan James undermined the principle of collective bargaining, a cornerstone of our industrial relationship. As elected representative of the police federation, Chairman James plays a crucial role in negotiating for our police officers. Striving to secure fair work, working condition, wages, and benefits. Taking punitive action against him sends a chilling message to all workers, representatives, and risks eroding the already delicate trust between the police force and the authorities, said the PMP LGBTQ member. It called on the Commissioner of Police to rescind the interdiction immediately, saying it is unjust, violates his constitutional rights, and set a dangerous precedent that have far-reaching impact for for the nation, labor rights, and freedom of expression. No more on an idiot and them things. Because when I talk about constitutional rights, the PMP LGBTQ plus party is the one that take away most of police constitutional rights in the Come Act that the labor rights gave you know, Bruce Golden. That was a dream come true for the PMP, in which police now have no rights. Police have no rights them before the Indicom Act police a statement was a voluntary thing, not anymore. Thanks to the PMP LGBTQ plus um, Crime Minister PJ Patterson. A dream come true. If Siaga was at the helm, that could not happen because him did already tell the tell the PMP LGBTQ plus people them in a parliament and the Senate. So anyhow we give the Jamaican people this the Indicom Act. The crime are got escalate because Jamaican people are the most unruly black people in the Caribbean. Them do not risk them don't like structure. You understand? He said the only place where Jamaican respect structure in his foreign land. Siaga said it a Jamaican will live in America or any other country and be decent and him say as them reach a Jamaica a, a immigration, them start be bad. He said you can't give them income. Jamaican people at all times him say you have to have your foot on them. You understand? Forget them for behave. So give them the Indicom Act. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, go allow them now for tear down the system and that's what happened. The police are Jamaican have no rights. You go out there, so hey, how many of all managers police? Where me go, I go out there and you involved in a, in a fatal shooting. You can't wait all months before you write a statement. No. You get days and you have to go in the command If you don't go and give a statement, them lock you up. I PMP to, to so you talk about constitutional rights. I will think you can't fool. I'm going to jam all police them who can't fool. You can't fool police like me. Because I'm going to take with everything. Everything that the PMP have been doing over the years is how to criminalize police. And all of the jam all police officers who don't have no sense. You know, say, the PMP LGBTQ plus party is one of the biggest enemy in Jamaica. Of both political parties, you know, from Bruce Golden, get it in the come. You understand? But we kind of see the GLP, LGBTQ plus party, they might try to kind of go back to Siaga thing. You understand? But the PMP, 
everything the PNP have been doing is to criminalize police officers. Most police don't even know this. They're young police, so I am going to educate them. You see the reason why police officers' regulation number, rank, name, and guns are recorded in crime diary, or station diary when a shooting happened. That's the legacy of the PMP. Them use that. The reason why them do that is because when the people them, when the police them used to kill it, criminal them. You understand? You know the can you know say ninety? You know say ninety six percent of the Kingston Metropolitan garrison them are PMP. So when the police kill them and them black road, so it is good enough to have a man like Ox and um, you know and Dadrick and and to and well they never black road with car Tony with them and the film kind of police they different. But when the labor right them come in a power and all them thing there and in the late eighties them start and them start black road now and the, the, the PMP them will get deported from foreign and them bring the same foreign thing at Jamaica. You understand? So what they have done and successfully done so is whenever a shooting at my police kill a criminal so Ox will, be, Ox will be there, uh, you know, a man like a Trinity or, you know, name brand police, Tom Levine and the man. Uh, and what they would do you now, the same people them in their community, you know, they would give statements that them say when Ox shoot the man and all of them things that they never see, you know, nobody on the police alone. And so they would give statements and, and how, many, how many shots and all them things. You, know. you see, when, when, they, when the lab report come back, Guess who never fire for them one? Ox. So Ox. So I have it all I statement on the file of lies. You can't charge the police them for murder cause they might tell lies. They might, Ox is not the one that did it. So what the PMP did then, all them get to start um, charge a whole heap of police in murder. That's for them do. So everybody who, who is there, their regulation number, rank, name, and the gun with them use, and who fire how many shots. Before then, when a police involvement a shooting, your name no mentioned in another diary. It would write, they would state that the police, everything in the entry is the police. The men open, men open fire at the police and the police return the fire. After the, shoots, um, the shooting subside, the police found one man clutching a 9mm pistol in and he was take the injured man, although him dead upon the scene. You know. The injured man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead by Dr. So and so. The PMP you now devised a plan now. Because they don't know, they don't know if they fight crime, they don't know if they fight police. So they designed the plan now and they will create that now. So when you involve in a shooting and the police them name in a diary now, you know, remember you have criminal police everywhere in a police force. You know. So you know, say a criminal police now is going back to tell the people them in a community. They have them inchman, you know, them, them, them liaison officer in our community. So then we tell them, say, yes, yes, you know, say, uh, um, let me tell you how they did it. Um, it in our crime diary, you know, I did Ox, I did Bobby Reds, uh, and Gunter, and, and Rocky. And uh, Gunter and Rocky at them fire. Ox and Bobby never fire a shot. And the gun where we, 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 we them use are the, are the M16. The one they use the M16 and the one they use the 9, the other, they no fire and a shot. So before they go black road now, they know who, so they spread it in their community and talk and them him as, and that person and say where the, 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 the deceased get the gunshots, them, you understand, we kill them. So I saw them, them start charge, holy for police. So all of the police and them thing, they want to realize the PMP LGBTQ plus party have been doing everything for sending our prison and protect the criminals. Police them no right out of the Jamaican constitution. I want to make the PMP them still a fool, you know, not a fool. You understand? That's why them can't like me, you know, cause I can think. Me, you can't destroy me. Me see you try to destroy me, and then me that they are bad for you. After me and a fool, me I got me want you to be new. Me want you to be a good citizen. You understand? Not a criminal supporter. So we continue the journey. So we also, that I PMP you know, you know, we also urge all stakeholders to engage in constructive dialogue to address the concern raised by Chairman James and work towards a more equitable and respectable environment for law enforcement officers and the public they serve. 
Police Commissioner respond decisively after the Federation Chamber fire for a salvo. Head of the Jamaica Police Federation, um, Rowan James, has been interdicted and could face further disciplinary actions over comments at recent funeral. At a recent funeral, firebrand head of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Rowan James, is facing the fight of his life after the police high command moved to sanction him following his recent declaration that the battle line have been drawn over the non-payment of overtime amount to some cops. James has been suspended from the all duties, interdicted, and to receive three quarter pay and is to face a court of inquiry where if he's found guilty, the sanction could range from lengthy sus no, no suspension. Sanction will face from from uh, him can get the motion at most extreme dismissal from the Jamaica Constable Air Force. We know so they might go for him, so they might kick him out because it's a court of inquiry, a kangaroo court, you know. But uh, after a kangaroo court now, so they might do, they're not going to rescind like, the interdiction. They're going to keep him out there and, and interdiction as long as they can. Because he must have must about four more years left in there. Because they might all of me, you know. I mean, I've seen a police in them, man. And because I PMP, you know, I call people up to 40 can and join the police force. I that them do for make create work for them friends. At the 30, you know, just like in America, 30. One man at 40, I go join the police force. He never did know say man for be police before. You know, suppose so. Uh, he can't get no work now and all them things. He had 40 and him barely can't run. I see some police and all them things and he can't even bend. I don't know how they have them old people here in the police force. You supposed to get the max, you understand? 30. You understand what I'm saying? Oh man at 40, he can't even run. And most of them, them came, most of them, why well, I say some kind of, well, I tell you, believe you me, so we can't do the jury rest of it. You understand? So he's accused of contrary, conduct contrary to the discipline, good order, and guidance of the force. He's facing four charges, including being disrespectful to a senior in rank, communicating specific sensitive issues within the Jamaica Constabulary Force to the public without permission of the Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson. We know that they're a long time from in the police force. You can't go out there and make things in the media without you get permission. You know that from training school. Unless you get that from the commissioner of police. So you can't speak to the media. So that's why in time police start them have to speak and then you know them have to use anonymity. So they can't identify themselves because you get in a trouble. So when you talk to a reporter back then, you know, you, the reporter can't put a name in the car. I tell you I tell them things in a private setting. You know, you can you know, have permission. If the reporter publish anything, you're dead. You understand? Them can dismiss you. So he has been out of line in many of his comments since he has been chairman of the federation. But this time he crossed a line with statements that were rude, disrespectful, and to some extent blatantly false. A police force told the Jamaica Observer on Thursday, even though some members of the rank and file who he claimed to have been speaking on their behalf have expressed disappointment with his tone and what could be considered the threat he issued at the funeral, the source said, which is true. The funeral was that of Councilor Damian Blair at Old Harbour New Testament Church of God in St. Catherine on July 15, 2023. In an art-eating address, James warned that the Federation would not be muzzled, intimidated or bamboozled by the police high command concerning overtime payment to which the court has ruled they are entitled. The government never denied that. We negotiated with the with government, not with high command. The Council of Deputies has no moral authority to tell us what to do when a court order what we are to be paid, overtimed, and, and that they should put in place a mechanism to capture ours so that the members can be Produce. Yeah, so remember them can get paid, you understand? I am not going to negotiate with the high command. Let the record be clear that the battle lines have drawn James Wan. You can't check the people them. I also want to say to the high command that the Council of Deputies must, must focus on their areas assigned to them and leave the issue capping hours work because this federation that I lead is not going to be submissive to the place where rank and file membership leaves 
the citizen of Jamaica compromise in their safety. It will never happen under my watch. Mark my word, James declared to, to muted applause. So nobody no clap when him say that, you know. Nobody no clap. Because that all of them think they are political statement. And I have also want to say to the high command and our commissioner, God help you if the membership is not, not paid their overtime this month. I am tired of the abuse being meted out to meeting out and believing that people can call me to intimidate me. I have not seen the man or woman that will lead me into fear. So I will retreat from doing what the membership has asked me to do. When I was elected, it is because I have the capacity, the will, the power to do it. We are entrenched in law as a police federation body and nobody will compromise it. Politics now nothing will come in the path of the execution of the Federation's role added militant gym. Yeah, so all of them time you know, James no know saying that he's not a union boss in him, a police here. Because yeah. he's not an in the second minute. But the observer source says James should be well aware that more than ninety percent of the overtime claims submitted by members of the JCF have been paid. There are some cases where the overtime has not been paid because of human errors. There have been some issues in some areas with new work management system which is used to calculate the overtime payment and there has been issues where people are claiming up to 90 hours overtime, overtime including times when they have attended funerals added one source. Oh man for claim overtime for that fin. So police won't get paid for that funeral? Is what that rasta? <laughs> well they normally they know all the right say, you know, for, it just in case something happens, them say they pay on duty. So, I just saw it go. And them officer boy, yeah, hey, look, when you go to a funeral, you can't get paid. And police, who don't go to the police funeral. So, when a man go to a funeral, he get paid overtime and them things, they say, boy, hey, hey, they know for me the system, you know. So, there's also an issue where someone of a lower rank, such as a corporal, want to approve the overtime payment for someone of a higher rank such as an inspector and when that is rejected they argue it is because the because of the division that they are in at the source. Following the comment by comments by James at the funeral, the high command launch approved and on Wednesday he was informed that the police commissioner directed disciplinary action against him at a quarter inquiry. It is the, therefore desirous and in public interest that you cease to perform duties in keeping with regulation thirty five Subsection 1 of the Police Service Regulation 1961. You are at this moment interdicted from duty to receive three quarters salary with immediate effects. James was told in a letter dated July, 20, July 26, 2023. He was also ordered to immediately hand over his JCF identification card and all government properties in his possession, which the sources pointed out is standard procedures when a cop is interdicted or being suspended from the police force. James also had been warned he should not only leave the island with the permission of the Governor General and should provide the head of the Kingston Western Division with contact information for himself as well as his next of kin. There is no ind indication yet when the quota of inquiry will begin. In the meantime, Carpal Arlene McBean, who was unceremoniously dumped as chairman by the federation in 2019 is set to retake the position at least for now also i'm not being behind it might be in the federation general secretary will act as chairman while james is on interdiction or until its council appoints an acting head of the body represented rank and file member of the jcf she was ousted through a no confident vote by members of the then federation executive after being accused of circumventing the Federation's rules and procedures, McBean was unsuccessful in her challenge of the decision in court. Corporal Rowan James had been, vocal, had been a vocal critic of the Jamaica Cancer Force High Command for some time. He has accused the High Command of corruption, mismanagement and abuse of power. He has also strongly advocated for the rights of the... What? He has also strongly advocated for the rights of LGBTQ plus people in Jam Jamaica in July 2023. So James said, oh, so he's a, a PMP activist, you know, he's an advocate for rights of all them people. 
in June, July 2023, James was interdicted. You understand? So, it is still being determined the future holds for James. So, hopefully, them say my final last hold, which is pending, and it's also that he will be reinstated to the jail. However, it's also impossible that he will leave the JCF and pursue a career in politics or activism because BS are one and two little thing. So the PMP had promised now they're gonna take the matter to court. So the court rescind the interdiction. I've never seen anything. This is unusual, unprecedented. Never see any political party want to take up a policeman case for the court for say boy the interdiction is unjust. It's not justifiable at all. So this one are free record books, only PMP alone can do that. You, know? you understand? So, this is basically putting the cart in front of the horse. So, they don't want the horse to move the cart, they want to move the cart themselves, the PMP, LGBTQ plus party, on behalf of James. But look, when they finish with James, because him rode, you know, as others have stated, when they're done with James, by the time everything, if they're not kick him out of the police force, because him threatening the deputy the man and thing and you have to understand everybody in your life have ego you know and especially I know some most of them people in Jamaica you know, men be you know them Chicago shows man you know they call them big choices man the whole of them you know them come like some big CC you know so when they say things and hurt them feeling them take it personal you know man a dead a dirt them you know, and dirt you know so if them if the hierarchy court inquiry and the hierarchy is yeah, you see, worse if, worse if them able for them, they are able for um, work the people them. I quote, I quote I'm carrying a, a kangaroo quote, you know, you got to say them thing there, you know. I only for people you know, they kick out of a police force and them thing there. But them just use the kangaroo system and get rid of them cars. For you get by the job, you have to have money to fight the legal battle with them, you know. And at them, I, them are a government. You understand? You have to make everything, you have to make sure you cross your T's and that all of your eyes because I have been to court and inquiry you know, two times a police tell life on me you understand the only the first time I get let's say I can't leave the island over two years my daughter Jamaica couldn't leave Jamaica for two years and I never charged I never charged criminally or anything departmentally and me all a man who me and the boy born and grew up together all the man he wanted for murder two counts of murder Police collect money from the brother Ainsley. Ainsley a big, was a big drug dealer in New York. The man collect 30,000 US and leg of the brother. You understand? And I mean, them, I mean after we hand over the boy, I mean, you know, end up charge. Because police get money. The police, him dead, them kill him, you know, um, Ricky Bailey, whole court dealer, and robber. You understand? Them collect money. And from the police were released the boy they understand but that was so did write a statement before write the truth and that statement my friend the man come there and tell some life on me so me know people feeling them you know civilian feeling time people tell life on them that's why i believe the rasta man you know the rasta youth you understand me you know gonna play some things about him in a week like you know the audience here the conversation that we have so me know it feeling people tell life on you car twice it happened to me with police me not even talk about the liar people them where 40 people tell life on me and a one person one one truth kill 40 lies you understand corporal one james him done him, him know that what he have done he has wrong he has wrong in a, every way it's not always right it's what is right and he make all of them trick there and it is all over social media so i don't know how my wiggle out of this you understand so i just saw it go. we support the commissioner what him did because he's in his legal rights to do it and we no, we don't believe in who is right, we believe in what is right. Carpal James is a PMP LGBTQ plus activist in uniform and his behavior is not that of a decent, ethical, honest and truthful police officer. So we support the Commissioner of Police and the IRKI Police Force, what they did with Carpal James in this matter. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.